Hello friends, we see a lot of different geometrical shapes at different places in nature. But actually, we see different shapes in nature and then we make different types like lines, triangles, squares, etc. To study the shapes, we measure them. So to study a triangle, we measure the length of the three sides and all the three angles. Now, if we have two triangles which are exactly identical and we know the lengths of all the sides of a triangle and also all its angles, then can we tell the length of the sides and the angles of the second triangle? The measurements of both the triangles are alike and so the sides of the triangles which come on top of one another are also alike, isn't it? This means that if we get the information about one triangle, we will also get information about the second triangle. These triangles are called congruent triangles. Cut the following triangles as shown on paper. Both the triangles are similar. When the first triangle is turned in the opposite direction, that is when the back side is turned into the front side, then we get the second triangle. Now, are these triangles congruent? If we keep both of these triangles one on top of the other, then they will look like this. But these triangles do not match, so they are not congruent. Is that correct? Now wait a moment. What if we move the second triangle in a way that its backside comes to the front and then keep them on top of each other? Then we will see it in the following way. This means both the triangles match perfectly. So they are congruent. Do you realize one thing? Earlier we did not find these two triangles similar. But then when the second triangle is turned and its backside brought in the front, then we found them to be congruent. So when we say that two triangles are congruent or not, we have to explain how we have to look at them. Let us consider the same triangles that we used earlier. Now let us give names to the vertices of the triangles. Let us call triangle ABC for the first triangle and triangle PQR for the second triangle. If we keep them on top of each other, then they don't coincide. That is, they do not match perfectly. We write this as triangle ABC is not congruent to triangle PQR. But if we turn triangle PQR from the back side to the front, then it will look like this. If we keep these triangles on top of one another, then they match perfectly. We write this as triangle ABC is congruent to triangle PRQ. Please understand that triangle ABC and triangle PQR are not congruent, but triangle ABC and triangle PRQ are congruent. Now, if we take these two triangles, how will we know if they are congruent? We will keep triangle DEF over triangle LMN in different ways and see if they match perfectly. Triangle DEF and triangle LMN are not congruent. That is, triangle DEF is not congruent to triangle LMN. So too, in a similar way, we keep triangle LMN on triangle DEF in various ways and see if they match. Then we realize that these two triangles never match with each other perfectly. This means that these two triangles are not congruent with each other. Now look at the following two triangles. If we keep these triangles one on top of the other and try to match their vertices and sides, we will see the following as shown in the figure. We will try to keep side BC of triangle ABC on side QR of triangle PQR. But side QR is longer than the side BC, so they do not match. So we will try to match by keeping side QR on the longest side of triangle ABC, that is on side AC. Now all the sides of the triangles and their angles are fitting each other and also matching. So triangle ABC and triangle RPQ are congruent. When the vertices of these congruent triangles match, they are said to be congruent. 
in triangle ABC and triangle RPQ, vertices A and R, vertices B and P, similarly, vertices C and Q match with each other. Similarly, sides AB and RP, sides AC and RQ, so too sides BC and PQ are pairs of sides that match. Angles A and R, angles B and P, so too angles C and Q are pairs of angles that match. Challenge Can you tell if these two triangles are congruent without cutting them out on paper? Try and see.